Good morning. My name is Carrie Gutfield, and after receiving a degree for in environmental education from Leslie College now University, I co-founded Crunch Time Environmental Education Fundraisers. Crunch Time teamed up with Newman's Own Organics and sold their chocolate to school groups all across the country as part of a fundraiser. Educating students through a videotape that was shot in the tropical rainforest in Costa Rica, featuring Jeff Corwin, now of Animal, animal Planet fame, and donated a large percent of our profits to the Nature Conservancy's Adopt Nature program, protecting large tracts of lands in the Earth's most vital ecosystem, the tropical rainforest. It is indeed crunch time for planet Earth, and I continue to teach our youth and others about critical issues affecting the environment. To that end, today, we can take a giant step towards reversing the trashing of our planet, the only home we'll ever know. In my prior existence, I was a charter member and later co-chair of the Boston Recycling Coalition, the grassroots organization that worked tirelessly with the mayor's office and many city councilors and was triumphant in bringing full curbside recycling to all Boston residents. 18 years ago this coming November. Despite all the waste that Boston's recycling program and all the other recycling programs across the Commonwealth have diverted from landfills and incinerators, there are still mountains and mountains of plastic that is either landfilled, taking up huge volumes of space, or is releasing toxic residue into the air that you and I breathe. It's time to stop this insanity give those plastic water bottles and juice bottles the second, third, and even fourth life instead of wasting a finite energy source, oil, to make a container that all too often is discarded by the roadside, littering our landscape. When we brought curbside recycling to Boston, the largest landfill in the world was the now capped Fresh Hills Landfill on Staten Island, one of only two man-made objects you can see from the moon, the other being the Great Wall of China. Today, the world's largest landfill is floating in the Pacific Ocean, twice the size of Texas, most uh, scientists estimate, or 67 times the size of Massachusetts. Most of it is plastic. Much of that plastic is bottles. Some of those plastic water and juice bottles have made their way and will continue to make their way from Massachusetts unless we do the sensible thing and put a price on these bottles in this ever-growing mountain of plastic before the next landfill in Massachusetts. It's a bridge that you can walk across from Boston to Provincetown. So I urge you to support the legislation for the expansion of the bottle. Thank you.